Hi guys, welcome back to Geese Wargaming and welcome to our latest 40k battle report. Today I am up at the Wargame store in Southport taking on John with his stunning Eldar. So today's mission we are doing tactical escalation. Objective markers are down on the board. We have number four here, kind of covered already off by the Eldar. Number six is up on top of the ruined Mechanicum factory number two underneath number five down by my rhino three over by the mountain and finally number one here so the two thousand points of eldar that the ultramarines are facing today we have two detachments we have an outrider detachment and a vanguard detachment HQ for the Outrider detachment, we have a Farseer on a jet bike, his psychic powers. He has Doom and Guide and a, an Auto Smite as well. Next we have three squads of jet bikes, these all have Shuriken Cannons. Into the Vanguard detachment, we have another Farseer on a jet bike, exactly the same psychic powers loadout. Into Elites, we have a squad of Fire Dragons and in here there is an Exarch. Next we have a squad of striking scorpions. I'm guessing these guys all come as stock. And then next we have a squad of wraith guards and these all come equipped with the wraith cannon. wraith cannon. The detail that John puts on these are stunning. These guys actually have skulls on their faces. Um, into the dedicated transport we have three wave serpents. These guys come as stock. And then finally we have two flyers. We have the Hemlock Wraith Fighter, and then we have the Crimson Hunter Exarch. So yes, yeah, so this is the 2000 points of Eldar, and John makes these look stunning. So I'm just gonna try and get, show you guys the paint jobs on these, because they are amazing. By far, some of the best painted miniatures that I've ever seen in my 20 odd years of doing this hobby. They are absolutely stunning. So here's my 2,000 points of Battalion Detachment Ultramarines into HQ. I'm taking a Captain. This guy comes as stock. Next is a Chaplain. Again, pretty much stock because it's got a plasma pistol. Into Troops, I'm taking a five-man tactical squad. A five-man Incessor squad. So for the first time, the Primaris Marines are into my 40k Ultramarines. Another five-man tactical squad. Into Heavy Support, I'm taking three... By a squad of three Grav Centurions. Now, I've heard these guys aren't very good now, so in eighth, so I'll give them a uh, another go and give them another try, see what I think of them. Into Elites, I'm taking a five-man Califracti Terminator squad, all equipped with Chain Fists. Next, an Apothecary, just giving me uh, D3 regenerated wombs. And finally, a Contemptor Dreadnought with a Keras Assault Cannon and a Power Fist. Dedicated Transports, I'm taking a Rhino and a Razorback. Lord of War is Rebute Gulliman himself. So obviously I have the 30k miniature of this. And now this is the 40k version. First time I've rolled this guy in battle. So it'd be good to see how he performs. And finally, just to make up the points, we've thrown in six-man Grey Knight Terminator squad. Rebute Gulliman calling on the forces of the Imperium today to see off the Eldar. So John finished deploying first. So he gets plus one to his roll. So let's see who goes first. I roll a five. John rolls a six. So he will be going first. So the Ultramarines are going to attempt and seize the initiative. Which I don't do. Do I spend a command point this early in the game and re-roll that? I have nine. Yeah, go on then. Let's have a go. Ah, oh, no. So John's tactical objective for this turn is Kingslayer, which is good because that's Gulliman and he's obviously right at the back, surrounded by quite a lot of stuff. So in the movement phase, we have had the Eldar heading up the battlefield, trying to encircle the Ultramarines. Everything pretty much, jet bikes and all the flyers making their way up. Crimson Hunter on its way up the battlefield. The Hemlock Fighter looking down at the Grav Centurions. I think they're going to be possibly John's first target. Um, he's nodding. I kind of thought that might be the case. But as we head over, obviously he's got Kingslayer. 
Gulliman hidden away right at the back might be a difficult target this turn. Guided has gone off on the Crimson Hunter and down here as well. And over here, Conceal has gone off. So that's plus one to my hit rolls. So that's going to make that a little bit more difficult to hit. That's fun. So the Contenter Dreadnought is down to seven wounds. That's shot from the Wave Serpent all the way up on top of the building. The um, Grav Centurions, wow. Okay, so the Hemlock Fighter opened up and just unleashed a world of pain on them. So killing two off directly, putting the last guy onto one wound. The Jet Bikes have just opened up as well. So I've got five normal saves to make and one at minus AP4. Yeah, so I've got uh, so I've got five four, uh, two ups to make, and I fail one of them, so he's dead. The rest of the shooting phase has been quite brutal. My contented dreadnought has lost a couple more wounds, so he's down to five. Obviously, the Grave Centurions have died, and now the Chaplain has died as well. But no Kingslayer scored for John this turn, and it's going to be over to the Ultramarines, and we are going to desperately need some reinforcements. So my objective for this turn is secure objective one, which isn't really helpful because that is over here and it's got a hell of a lot of Eldar over it and what I could have sent over there, my Centurion or my, cap uh, my Chaplain have, have died. So movement phase, Gulliman, Apothecary, Captain, Incessor Squad, Contemptor, Razorback, I've all moved up, all standing in that six inch bubble of Gulliman to get me my rerolls to hit, rerolls to wound. Rhino has also moved up as well, it's 12 inches, it's kind of just sitting at the back of the board with its engine ticking over, so I thought I'd send it up the battlefield. We have more boots on the ground, the Califracti Terminators are deep strikes in, looking at coming around the back of the Manifactarum, getting into combat, starting to uh, disrupt these Eldar. My Grey Knight Terminators have deep strikes in as well. These guys now nine inches away from the back of these bikes. I'm just trying to give John something else to think about. So nine inch charge, nine inch charge, lots and lots of firepower. In the Ultramarine shooting phase, Smite from the Grey Knights went off into the Jet Bites, taking one more to wound over there. Then the rest of the Bolters and the Silencer shot into there, killing one off and uh, taking, well basically just killing one off, which is a bit underwhelming. Down here, the Califracti Terminators shot with their Storm Bolters into the Farseer. Two wounds taken down here. Basically the rest of the shots from Gulliman and the boys all came into this Wave Serpent up here, causing quite a few wounds, but it's still alive with nine left. Uh, those re-rolls to hits and re-rolls to wound from Gulliman are really coming in useful. We're gonna be going over to Assault, can the Cataphract Terminators make it in and the Grey Knights make it in to the back of the Eldar? The Cataphract Terminators obviously now into that fast here, nine inch charge. They roll a seven, so I'm gonna use a command point. It's a 10, they make it in. And then the Grey Knight, so it's again nine inch charge. That's slightly cocked that one, but there's a five straight off and there's a five as well. So we have two squads making it in. Now let's suffer the overwatch. Quite a brutal round of combat. The Grey Knights destroyed one of the Jet Bite squads and because we multi-assaulted, um, the Wave Serpent has taken six wounds, so it's got seven left. Damn, that thing's hard. The Cataphract Terminators went into the Farsi and literally just smashed his pointy-eared skull open. There it is. Eldar blood, all, <laughs> Eldar blood all over the battlefield. So quite a successful turn. I don't score any um, objectives that turn because secure objective one was the wrong side of the battlefield for me. So the two new objectives for the Eldar this turn, we have defend objective four and we have behind enemy lies. Now objective four is here, which has got the gray knights on it. And it's also got the cataphract terminators that could quite easily get there in one turn four inches yeah maybe um so we have the hemlock that has moved around looking at shooting into the cataphract terminators now what was on top of the platform wave serpent has moved down jet bikes have moved across so they're on objective two if that card actually comes up and then we now have the fire dragons out looking at putting some nasty firing shots into the razorback 
We also have the striking scorpions, they're now at the back of the battlefield. We have jet bikes, we have flyers, all moving round because we have behind enemy lines. So there's going to be a lot of firepower coming into the ultramarines this turn that we're going to have to weather this. And also now on the battlefield we have the wraith guards looking at ruining the day for these grey knights. Wow, that was a tough round of shooting that I've just weathered. Razorback has gone uh, from the Fire Dragons, and two of the guys died. Captain is down two wounds. That's from the Crimson Hunter up here, shooting down at him, taking two wounds down there. Grey Knight Terminators have completely gone. These Wraith Guard, wow, they literally just opened up and wiped them from the face of this planet. They were horrible. And the Cataphractor Terminators, I've got one guy left on one wound. Yeah. That was painful. I have lost quite a lot of units there. There's going to be no assault. So at the end of that turn, John has two units in my deployment zone. And so that scores him one victory point. So new objective for the Ultramarines this turn is secure objective three, which is not that bad because that is down here. So the three remaining tactical marines that have survived have jumped onto that objective. The, the Contempt of Dreadnought has gone up. He's going to try and deal with the Fire Drakes, uh, Fire Dragons. So he might get torched in um, Overwatch, but we'll see. Gunnerman and the little posse of guys with him have all moved around. They're going to take the Striking Scorpions. We're going to try and get into this side of the battlefield and weather these, or whittle these down a little bit more. Rhino has moved up. I haven't got the guys out yet. They're going to stay in. Now the Cataphracty Terminator that is alive is just poking through the Ruin Mechanicum. I'm going to try and charge him in first to those Fire Dragons as well. So we should at least score one objective point this turn. In the shooting phase, the Incessor Marines, the Captain and the Apothecary shot into the Striking Scorpions, killing off three. Rebute shot into the Crimson Hunter up here, taking off six wounds, so quite a lot of damage done down there. The Contemptor, the Cataphract Terminator, the three main tactical marines and the Rhino shot down into the Fire Dragons down here, killing one off and putting the Exarch onto one wound. So it's going to be over to combat. We're going to try and kill off the Striking Scorpions and kill off the remaining Fire Dragons. The Contempt of Dreadnought made it into combat with the Fire Dragons and basically made very short work of them. The Exarch is left with one wound remaining. The Striking Scorpions have gone. Basically, Papa G just um, hit them with the Emperor's Sword and burnt their Xenos scum alive. And consolidate into combat with that Wave Serpent there who hit back and no damage done at all. So, he's got to fall out of combat. If he wants to, it means, probably means there'll be no shooting from that tank next turn, which is a good thing. But my tactical squad holding objective three secures me a victory point this turn. So John's objectives this turn, he's got Defend Objective 6 and Defend Objective 4. Now Defend Objective 4 is not a bad shout because he's basically moved all of his Eldar into a big bubble because I might have made a slight mistake. Because that vehicle has the fly special rule because the hover tank means he can pull out and shoot. It's also left Rebute right at the very front so he's going to have to weather a hell of a lot of shots coming in. Defend objective six. Now well, that's up here. That's got a uh, wave serpent sitting on it. <sighs> Brilliant. And then obviously defend objective two. The jet bikes are now on this. So we're doing this as a three inch cylinder all the way up so that uh, they claim that one. The jet bikes on the top. Shot down into the Rhino, taking off one wound. Um, tactical squad down here, taking a casualty. That came from the Wave Serpent up here. Shot down at the Cataphracty guy as well. No damage done. I think the big story, though, is the Incessors have gone, the Apothecary have gone, and Gulliman has been reduced down to zero wounds. This massive blob of Eldar shooting down into him has just caused a lot of pain. But obviously, Gulliman stands up on a 4+. plus which he does so he's back up and he stands up with d6 wounds four wounds in the elder assault phase the fire dragon stood no chance against the contempt of dreadnought and he was killed and killed easily john scores another victory point with secure objective two New objectives this turn, I've got Secure Objective 3 again, and Secure Objective 4, which is where all the Eldar are, so that's not helpful. Um, Rebute with his four wounds, 
has gone up the battlefield. I think I'm just going to have to go into Assault. I'm going to go into the Wave Serpent down here. I'm going to try and beat up the Eldar a little bit. Captain has moved up as well. A little bit isolated. Contempt to Dreadnought after killing off the Fire Dragon has moved up. He's within six inches of Gulliman. So he'll be coming in as well. Rhino has moved up just before he did. He dropped off the Tactical Squad who are now up on top of the factory and they will be going into the jet bikes and finally the contempt the cataphractic terminator will hopefully be going into that wave serpent as well so the full firepower of the ultramarines has been unleashed Rebute gulliman the captain the cataphractic terminator uh, the contempt to dreadnought all shot into the big blob down here aiming at that wave serpent there no damage done john's saves have been unbelievable uh, one damage done up here, this Wave Serpent, that was done by the Terminator before he goes into combat. And one jet bike has died thanks to the tactical squad up on the floor of the building. So, Rebute Gulliman. Oh, we've got smoke. Rebute Gulliman has destroyed their Wave Serpent down there. Made very, very short work of it. Made it... Bits are still Quite falling. easy, yeah, bits are still falling down. Made very short work of it. Up here, the um, Cataphractor Terminator put a couple more wounds onto that Wave Serpent. No damage done back. And then finally, one Eldar jet bike has been pulled down, but then two of the Ultramarine Tactical Squad have as well. I rolled Snake Eyes for my saving throw. Brilliant. So I score objective three that turn for an extra victory point. So three new objectives for the Eldar this turn. We have Secure Objective 6, Defend Objective 4 and Defend Objective 1. So Defend Objective 1 is all the way over here. So the jet bikes have now gone and taken that. They might have to sit there for two turns. The Wraith Guard have moved around. They're going to be shooting, but they're going to be shooting at the Dreadnought because that is closest. The bikes, Gunnerman is closest. They're going to have to survive there. Uh, Wave Serpent, Wave Serpent has moved around because that's obviously Defend Objective 4 and that's there. Again, shots going into the Dreadnought. Uh, dreadnought. The Crimson Hunter has come around because this is Objective 6 up here. So we have Secure and Defend Objective 6, which this wave search has been sitting on for a little while. One Terminator left. The jet box have also moved around after being in combat with the Tactical Squad. So there's a good chance that Terminator will die. And then it's going to be over to shooting, basically, trying to kill off the Primarch again. Doom has gone off on Rebute Gulliman and also Smite as well. And John rolled a six for his D3. So Gulliman is down to one wound. Look at the amount of firepower this poor guy's going to have to suffer now. Dreadnought's got to go first though. So in the shooting phase, the Cataphractic Terminator was killed off by the Eldar up on top of that building, giving them secure objective six. Um, the Contempt of Dreadnought has gone. That went boom. It didn't blow up though, which is good. So Gulliman is on one wound. It is now being shot at by the Wave Serpent down here. I've got two normal armor saves to make, and I'm going to roll these on camera. He's got one wound left. So two two ups. So he makes them. But then John rolled a si two sixes. So this is AP minus three. So I've got a three up in one save with Rebute. So I've got two three ups to make. Nope. He is dead again. Oh, yeah, actually, I'm going to roll a command point. Roll a command point on that. Ha! Brilliant. In the rest of the shooting phase, the Crimson Hunter shot down into the one remaining tactical marine down here, killing him off. One of the tactical guys up on the building was shot at by the Eldar jet bikes and killed him off. So, at the end of that, John scores Defend Objective 6, Secure Objective 6, and Defend Objective 4. So, at the end of that, it's... Well, I've decided to call it. The Ultramarines have just taken an absolute thumping. John scores five of the tactical objectives. I get two. Plus he gets Linebreaker, Slay the Warlord and First Blood. Wow, that was that was a tough game. Rebooted Gulliman is good in combat, but that was still really, really tough. Let's head over to post-game review. So as you can tell, I'm no longer in the war game store. I'm back home. That was a tough, tough game against John Zeldar. He said he was bringing a fluffy list. Turns out it kind of wasn't that fluffy and Eldar are still quite hard and they haven't, at this point, they haven't even got their codex yet. Very, very, very tough. So, good fun game. Um, I took my Ultramarines, I took uh, Rebute for the very first time. He is a beast, he is quite tough. That whole re-rolls to hit and re-rolls to wound are oh, quite nasty. My Ultramarines, my Ultramarines are not ready for 40k yet. Um, 
As you know, I run them in 30K and they are completely spec out for the Horus Heresy. Some of those units I can't use. Um, yeah, so what I'm doing currently is Primaris Marines. I've got Primaris Captain and the Hellblasters are all being painted up. Now, I am also going to take my Ultramarines to the Last Chance Open in January up at the War Games store. Um, and it's an ITC competition, so I'm going full filth. I said I would at some point go full filth to try and do quite well in the tournament. So um, I'm building and painting that up at the moment. There's quite a lot to do. Um, there's a couple of months yet before I hit Jan. So I should all be done by then, as long as I uh, spend a lot of time painting. Um, and once it's done, hopefully I will show you guys and see what you think. Back to the battle report. There's a couple of tactical errors I made in that. Um, when Gulliman charged into the Vulcan, the tank, and we destroyed it and destroyed it quite easily, it meant that Gulliman was the lead guy when you charge me, you move your three inches up, he was the lead guy. Even if I decided not to, he was still going to be the lead guy. And that meant that he was available to be fired at. And that killed him his first death. So that was that was a mistake. And that's a learning point for me. Um, you know, it's the very first time I have used Gulliman, so I'm still learning how he should operate and what he should be next to to give the re-rolls to hit re-rolls to wound. Hellblasters, I'm thinking Hellblasters, I'm thinking Razorbacks in Laz Cannons. <laughs> tough, very tough. Um, there's a few tactical errors in there. My Ultramarines force was not really designed for that Eldar force that, that John brought. It It's it's shooty, but it's not that shooty, if that makes sense. And it's not really that close combat orientated. It's kind of that ground in between so they are going to improve they are going to get better i am adding to my ultramarines 40k force every single evening when i'm painting up um john's eldar army is by far probably one of the best armies i've ever seen painted it's stunning i don't know if it came across on camera as it should do um they are beautiful and the next time john is here uh, what i'll do is i'll probably do a showcase video now i know winters has already done one because winters has faced has faced john and there is a showcase video on there um highly recommend going to have a look at that because his eldar blow my mind his paint jobs literally blow my mind um it was a good fun game it was great to meet up with john again I haven't seen him in a little while um it's a learning curve for me Tactical errors that I made, Gulliman being at the front, and and there was a couple of Eldar tanks that were left with a couple of wounds left that I probably should have popped off. Um, deep striking the Grey Knights in and the and the Cataphractic Terminators, that seemed to work quite well, but man, those Grey Knights were just murdered, literally murdered in one round of shooting, pretty much the entire squad gone. Um, so that was a bit of, uh, you know, force effectiveness, a nice bit of close combat disappeared. Cataphract Terminators got into combat, did what they do. They destroyed vehicles with their chain fists. And then they were pulled down to shooting. And it's like, oh, man, really? Um, how are the um, new Primaris Marines? They did okay. They didn't do too bad at all. Normal Tactical Marines suffered a little bit uh, being pulled down. Pothecary dying. Yeah, it's just, there's a lot of... Differences between 8th editions and 7th edition that you, I'm still... Because I play Horus Heresy and 40k, you're flipping between 7th and 8th and 7th and 8th all the time. And it's very, very difficult to keep track of what you're doing sometimes. And hands up, I made a big tactical error with Gulliman and he should not have been at the front. He should have been always at the back. So that's my own silly fault on that. But that's kind of what this game is. It's kind of learning so that... You know, I'm sure we all do it. We all make a mistake with our army. And then next time we won't do that mistake. We have to learn our armies. And every single one of our armies has been through massive, massive changes. Um, so as always, guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. Um, I know that was a little bit of a one-sided battle. Um, John's army is stunning. So please leave us a comment. What do you think to that? Do you like the look of it? Because I literally love it. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, there will be a link to the video up here somewhere. Uh, go watch it, put a comment on, and that will be your entry into the giveaway. And as always, we will see you on the next one.